hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you for all of your love and support that you show me throughout the weeks i know i've been away for some time but i was under the weather and i'm feeling better now so i'm excited to jump into the energy reading of what is going on right now i pre-pulled some cards this is the first three as you can see and these are the other two um just with these five cards alone one of the big things that spirit is putting an emphasis on is emotions emotions are going to be the thing that allows you to completely um find your way right now so whatever arena of life that you're in right now regardless if you have um, accomplished what you desire or have not yet accomplished what you des what you desire um there's a big emphasis on the emotion being able to either give you insight onto what to do next or give or the emotions will be able to be the thing that cause in what it is that you desire for yourself so emotions come from our thoughts so it's very 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 important right now that you are monitoring your thoughts what are you thinking are the things that you are allowing yourself to think the truth or is it something that you have subconsciously allowed yourself to believe in my previous reading, we were talking a lot about us going on a new level. And guys, I want to put an emphasis on there is a new level. We are operating in a new world. That is the reason why we find ourselves confused about a lot of different things. And I feel like a lot of people thought that once they got to a certain point in their life, that the answers would just flow out for them. But that is not the case. You're in a completely different world. You have a completely new vibration and, and there needs to be a new way of thinking applied throughout all of these. So the first card that you have is intuition. This card is the bulk of what spirit wants you to know. You are beyond intuitive. So intuition is going to be very important and if you're not in tune with your intuition you need to be working on getting in tune with your intuition because your intuition your inner guy your inner self all of these thoughts ideas the synchronicities everything you're going to be needing to be able to apply the intuition in every given moment because you're going through a transformation and as you go through transformations they're not always easy they're not always that walk of cake it's not always you praying and waiting to receive there is a lot that comes with operating in the intuition um just because you are in a starting level right now where you feel as if there may be some confusion chaos or life is not happening in the in the way that you truly desire what's happening with that is because you are being prompted to really understand how the intuition works and get in tune with your intuition so the intuition card here is stating that you already know do not allow the transition process to make you think, feel, or believe that you've done something that is not in alignment with where you're going. This is not what spirit is doing. Spirit is allowing things to happen as it has been doing consistently throughout this year, but allowing things to happen for you so that you can understand how to slow down, how to understand and make sense of situations and circumstances so that i can be the god of my life and make the appropriate decisions the pro appropriate movement for my path this path looks completely different for each and every one of us so the reason why intuition is very important is because you can't copy off of nobody's paper right now 
You can't do what you see somebody else doing because they are doing this because this is their path. This is their way. The spirit is urging you to come into a real relationship with where it is that you are traveling, where it is that you are going. You need to know the end goal. What is it that you desire for yourself? The things that you desire for yourself need to be so much so deeply embedded into your dna that this is what you know you breathe you eat this is what you know because it is time for you to energetically transition to a completely new you and in the process of us transitioning becoming more than what we've ever been before we tend to bump we tend to run into a lot of obstacles, but these obstacles are not meant for you to self-doubt or second guess anything about your path or the end goal. It is to help you understand that what you are asking for in the end goal is being achieved through these small steps. So the intuition card is telling you that you already know. You know, you feel it, you breathe it, you've been dreaming of these things, not only from an adolescent, but as you get older, you find yourself being more drawn to these things and not just drawn to things, but you find yourself getting opportunities and you find yourself being in the midst of what it is that you know is meant for you. So that's your confirmation. You know that you're supposed to be here. And along with this intuition, you're going to be receiving signs synchronicity so you have got to slow down to catch the sign do not allow the transition the rumble of the transition is like a tumbleweed through the desert do not allow the movement of this transformation allow you to forget the end goal and forget that you are responsible for your vibration in every given moment to forget that you have asked for much and because much has been asked for, much is required. We may not like the processes in which we have to undergo in order to get to what it is that we desire, but they are well required. And the only thing that Spirit says that you can do throughout this time is to slow down because I'm speaking to you. I'm guiding you and I'm showing you the ways in which you can go. But if you find yourself completely caught up in the middle of um, everything that's happening and starting to allow your vibration to swoop low, um, you're going to miss the signs in the intuitive guidance. The next card that we have is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is talking to us about our journey this far. So there's a sense of us really having good intentions, really putting forth the work, effort, action, um, and maybe doing some things that we've never really done before because we are looking for elevation. We are looking for something completely different. But in the midst of us putting in this effort, we still find ourselves discontent or not as comfort or not as comfortable as we thought that we would be by this time. But that also is not the case. Remember, in the beginning, I said you're going through a transformation. So e don't stop doing your efforts. Even though things are rocky. And this message is definitely for people who feel like they are being consumed or that they are really pushing out a lot of energy. And I get it. You've pushed out all of this energy all year. I mean, really doing things that you've never done before. Really taking the time to add more to your life. To really look at, it, look at and examine what it is that you're actually putting out. And putting out efforts to change those things. The Eight of Cups says that you still feel emotional towards these things. And emotional as in, I'm still and discontent of what I produce given the amount of effort and energy that I put in. Now, listen, don't stop putting in your efforts because every seed that you plant has to grow. 
you have to remember to come back and water these seeds so that these seeds are moving at a certain pace. But as life happens to us and as things start to get our focus and our attention, then we can neglect the seeds that we planted. Do not neglect the seeds in which you planted because the seeds in which you planted, they deserve to grow. They deserve to have life. They deserve to manifest out into the earth. This message for the Eight of Cups is specifically talking about not being weary and well-doing. You're going to reap the rewards. You're going to receive everything that it is that you need. But what Spirit is doing is placing you in a capacity through your vibration to be able to handle these things. If you're not in a space now where you're able to mentally, physically, and emotionally handle how life is coming at you, for me to bless you will not do you any justice because you'll still, you'll still have, it's just a moment of relief. I need you to be in a space of complete transformation. And it's going to be comp consistently tested towards you. Like, just because you have reached a certain level, there's more on that level. Okay? And the spirit knows that. And it's preparing you by giving you these daily obstacles to teach you how to be in a hamster wheel. <coughs> What are you going to do? Because I know that when I advance you and I bless you and I give you all of these desires of your heart that at this level, there's going to come a time where you're going to need to Im implement the things that I'm doing for you now. So do not take any of the things that are happening to you in your life right now for granted. Please learn all of the lessons. Please absorb some of the ancient wisdom that the spirit is trying to put in you because you're going to need it. Just because you finally manifest all of the things that you desire does not mean that things are going to be good and gravy. No, you have a new level of responsibility that you're going to be required to maintain. And through me putting you through these obstacles and through all of these hoops, it's going to be well worth it. I, the spirit is trying to um, change everything for you so that the way that you look at things the way that you perceive and emotionally and how you absorb things completely changes at the core so that now when i advance you when i move you when i upgrade you that you will be able you'll have remembrance of how to handle these situations so the next card five of swords five of swords is asking you to pick your battles the universe is literally shifting at a rapid rate that is the reason why everything feels so foreign not only that but spirit is trying to do something in your life your manifestations are ready to bloom okay and when this happens there's a lot of battles that are, are coming for you okay a lot because as you elevate and as you graduate, even throughout school, you notice that the work became a little, they added a little bit more to it. So it became a little bit complicated in a sense. Same thing with your manifestations. Pick your battles. You can't fight every single thing that comes at you right now. You need your energy in order for you to continually add momentum to the things that you've already done. So when things come in your life, everything you can't control. So there's a lot of things that you can put down. You need to figure out what can I control, what can I not control. The things that you cannot control, you need to put them on a list, put them to the side and understand that, hey, these are the things that right now, my energy is not able to control these things. I need higher realms to come down and help assist me through these things and we take our mind off of them then we have the things that we are able to control the battles that we have chosen to pick you need to be consciously speaking to these battles what comes out of your mouth holds power so as you speak to the battle and tell that battle that it has no room to make way to move for what is coming then guess what the energy has to shift. The energy has to change. And that's a law. That's not tarot. That's not no, no reading, no psychic, no none of that. That's the law 
of the universe just as the sun comes up and the moon rises at night and it goes down the sun go down and the moon come up at night this is what i'm talking about you have to pick your battles there is a law in the earth because you are nature that is governing you that is covering you that is protecting you that is watching over you asking you to pick the battles and when you pick those battles speak those things that are not as though they were you're going to speak to these battles and command them to be what it is that you wish that you see as you deal with them and you need to even speak into yourself. Speak to your con your subconscious. Ask your angels, please touch my subconscious. Please give me a new perspective. Please allow me to see things in a new light. Please give me the clarity that I, that I desire for this specific moment in my life. What actions are necessary? Please give me the strength the willpower and the courage to be able to apply the actions necessary to change my situation, to be able to speak to things that are not as though they were and watch them before my very eyes manifest and change into something completely different. Pick your battles. Don't try to fight everything right now because like I said, you are transforming. And in the moments in which you are transforming, you can't fight every single thing. You will be depleted. Next car. <coughs> oh, let's see. Deep replenishment is required. Retreat, rest, and be held. The retreat request, request, rest, the retreat, rest, and be bold. I said be held. It do say be held. I thought it said be bold. Okay, so retreat, rest, and be held. It's asking you to... Be in tune with yourself. Go from the anxious you, which you don't even realize you're anxious, but your nervous system is just letting you know, oh, you're anxious, you're anxious. When your shoulders up, your jaws clenched, your face tight, rest, all of that. Not even just physically, but mentally, emotionally. Put all of this to a deep replenishment. Change the ways in which you are feeling towards the things around you and start focusing on the things that really matter. If you are trying to change a certain area of your life, the first thing you need to know or do is to be focused on what it is that you desire. You do not need to be focused on why it can't happen or what has happened in the past because now you have a completely new vibration. You have quantum leaped, my friends. We have all quantum leaped. And when you quantum leap, you have to really be intentional with every move, every thought, every emotion, everything that is related to this path. You have got to be intentional. The spirit is asking for deep replenishment and honestly throughout all of this reading with the intuition card as well, it was asking for you to slow down, rest, retreat, move. And that does not mean neglect the things that you need to do. It means to stop putting so much pressure on all of these different areas and do what it is that you are, you can or are allowed to do and release the remainder. It is asking for you to proportion your energy. Understand what's priority in your life. Understand what it is that you can handle and what you can't handle, what's not. The so spirit does not, just because things are happening in your life does not mean spirit wants you to handle all of them. Some things the spirit say, okay, ho, while I work on this, you work on this. And that is just the reality of it. But as human beings, we tend to want to look at all faucets of our life and move these things as we desire. Key, no. Be okay with releasing. And if you can't be okay with releasing understand that the spirit is going to force you to be okay with releasing they are going to be consistent things happening back to back to back there's nothing you can do about it 
There's only prayers that you can send out to the universe. And after you've done those prayers, the only other homework that you have is to maintain your vibration. Maintain the thoughts that you think towards that thing. Deep replenishment. And when we deeply rep replenish and relax, I was just sick. And every time I would try to move too fast or do what I was doing when I was well, I would feel my body alerting me that we need to slow down. We need to relax, rest, because you can't even give the full, you, you, you're not getting the clarity that you need in this way. And that is the same thing with our natural life. Clarity is being issued, but it won't be forced. So any moment that you feel yourself forcing anything to fit into a certain way because of you, understand that it's ego. And the ego wants things to happen like this, this, and this. But supernaturally, things are already moving and they're shifting. And the only thing that it needs from you, from its co-creator, you, is to do your job. I don't, I don't need assistance with the, the things that are too heavy for you to carry. That's that I love you. I'm not going to put more on you than you can bear. You have to trust me. The last card is emotions are running high. And it had an affirmation in it. Let me see. Okay. Success is close. I just must trust. And that what i was just saying you have to trust in this season right here right now you gotta trust this is gonna be a whole lot of stuff that don't look like what we envisioned what we pictured what we thought how we believed it to be but it's not about what you thought and what you felt and what you desired for it to be not when the spirit is doing a transformation and shifting you from things and to things that you may not even know that belong to you. The spirit is asking for you to trust, to control your emotions, to be very in tune with what it is that you are ordering, what you are putting out, what you are requesting. Never contradict yourself when you're working with the universe and when you're desiring to manifest something higher than what it is that you have. What happens when you do that is you are frustrated because now you're actually mad, but you can only be mad at yourself because that's like going in a restaurant saying, I want to get the steak. No, let me get a hamburger. No, let me get the mac and cheese. Not just bring me something. And they bring you what you asked for the first time and you just didn't even have a taste for it. The spirit knows beyond what it is that we can think, see, and feel. And it is operating and it is trying to provide you with some of this wisdom, this knowledge, and this intellect through you connecting with your intuition. Your, your relationship with spirit right now is growing. It's getting bigger because it's becoming a time where we have got to be rooted. Like the tree in the ground, I need you to be rooted. I need you to understand that you are an emotional being, but the way in which you are operating through your emotions are preventing you from getting through this last hurdle. Work with me. Work with me. I'm already doing things while you're sleeping, while you're worrying, while you're thinking in a different way. I'm already aligning you to the path. All you have to do is trust me. Work with yourself. Pray, meditate, be in tune. I find that writing things down to get them off my mind and even it's romanticizing the life. Because if I don't have the things that I desire or that I feel should be among me right now, that means that I have got to call them in. And if you're speaking anything other than those things, then you have lost the opportunity to do your due diligence as co-creator to be able to pull these things in. Emotions are running high. The only way to get those emotions level and calm is for you to meditate, for you to slow down, for you to rest and relax. And sometimes we feel um, guilty for just resting, eating, not eating, but you know, how you're just like um, doing something and you're like, I really could be doing this. Okay. 
put that on your to-do list and visit that at the time where you have a clear mind to do it because just because you feel that you should be doing it right now if you were to go and do it you'd probably still be frustrated and you have not given yourself enough grace from the moment that you had that thought to be able to produce the at the level of creativity or at the level of divine soul that you're able to give The battles are not yours. They are the spirits. And spirit is really trying to get give you the clarity that you need. Yeah, you have a lot of um, uncertainty. And you're in a area of the unknown. But guess who placed you there? And guess why they placed you there? Yes, spirit placed you there. And spirit placed you there to be able to give. Oh, I didn't know this. I don't know. You don't know how to move from where you are. So I'm going to place you in that very place. And if you listen to me and you trust me and you follow my guidance, you will come out unharmed. You will come out knowing now that when I do get back in this or if this was ever to approach me again, I have the wisdom and the divine knowing to be able to guide and shift and maneuver my life in the way that in which I desire. This is a huge, powerful message. And it all goes back to you slowing down and resting, meditating, doing things that calm the body. Anytime you feel yourself being at a high level of stress, you are out of alignment. Get back into alignment by releasing things, letting them go, sitting and dwelling with those emotions, understanding the emotion, and why the emotion is present. That's going to help you a lot. So I hope these messages have resonated with you. I love you guys so much. You are so supportive to me. If you need a private, personal reading, because this is a collective general reading. So if you need something more private, specific for your situation, mysticmelaninshop.com. And please, guys, give me 48 hours after you have purchased your reading to be able to deliver your messages to you. There is an option to have it expedited, but right now, there is a, a lot transforming for myself as well. So, I have actually taken that option down, and we're literally working with only the 48 hours. But I promise you, 48 hours or less, I will be getting back to you. But, you guys, this has been swell. Hope to see you again in another week.